Who's up for another road trip? I am! Today we are going to Two Guns, Arizona. First up, Ruins by the Train. We knew that there was some ruins down here and Diablo Canyon, which we'll get to, but first we had to cross over the train line to get to the ruins. So here's the train going by. Enjoy. Always love a good train crossing, for sure. Enjoy. When the first train passed, we had to cross over the middle of the second one, hoping it wasn't going to take off anytime soon. A little scary, but we made it. And here we are on the other side, getting to explore ruins. So I kind of found a little information about ruins, um, these ruins online. It looks as if there was a little town set up here, and that was established to put the trestle train bridge over Diablo, Ca uh, Diablo Canyon. Um, once the bridge was completed, I guess they had no reason to be here, so the workers abandoned the site and left it in ruins. So here's a little tour of that. Lots of glass and old cans and things. It's probably been picked over pretty well as other people have adventured here before us, of course, and nothing of noteworthy, you know, like let's take this home type of status. That thing that we just went past, that little archway, that was really neat. We're going to double back to that in a moment. Uh, we believe it was a furnace, and we did look inside, and there are remains of like, metal objects and stuff that look like they've been incinerated in this furnace. Pretty cool. And right on cue, it was time for us to cross back over to get back to the van on the other side. And here goes that train that was stationary, pulling on back out down the line. And um, there it goes, and we will cross as soon as it is back.
All right, heading back to the van and then on over a little ways to the edge of Canyon Diablo. Here it is. It's a horseshoe shaped canyon. Nobody out here, man. This place was empty. We didn't see any other people the entire time we were out here. Um, got to walk around a lot, of course, and take these couple of photos. Pretty neat place. And then uh, well, we're going to leave this place and drive out to where the Trestle train bridge is now and check that place out. Assuming this is the west side and the other side is the east, I would assume. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the expanse of this bridge. Casey was not up for traversing it. I went all the way out to the middle point and took some photos along the way. Um, I thought it was a great adventure. I love this kind of thing. He thought this was a little too much for him. However, he does things that I think are pretty darn scary that I don't want to participate in. And there he is watching from afar. Here's the view from the middle, looking down into Diablo Canyon and out to the other side. Um, I enjoyed this part of the exploration very much until the train went by over my head. So the ones that we had seen before were long past and pulled on out when all of a sudden a train came from, I guess, the uh, east, headed towards the west, and went right on over. If I had had a peace of mind, I would have had a video going of it. Luckily, Casey got a video of it. You cannot see that I am out in the middle, underneath the train bridge while that was happening. We have both safely returned to the other side and headed back to the van. We encountered this beastie. So he's having a fun day, digging in the mud, or whatever he's doing. Maybe it's not a fun day. Maybe he's upset he lost something. I don't know. Uh, you can see all of this little herd that he's probably protecting out there back behind him. Happy little cow days. Beautiful, beautiful backdrop here. And we have another adventure. Up next, the Apache Death Cave. Seriously, we knew nothing about the Apache Death Cave upon arriving here. We had no knowledge of it. We saw another ruin across the street. We decided to walk up to it. We started exploring around. In another moment, you'll see sort of like a ladder or thing, like a ramp downward into the cave. I got down there before Casey. I turned right around and I said, nope, I don't feel like exploring this. Casey thought I was being ridiculous. He had it on down. Here it is now. He put his head into the cave and he turned around and said, nope, I don't have to do that. Come to find out later, oh, pausing by the moment, this is um, another ruin right next door. They used to keep animals here, and it was a roadside attraction. But in any case, look up the story of the Apache Death Cave. Wow, man, we got goosebumps just poking our head into the cave, and we had no idea what had happened there. It was pretty amazing, and I'm happy to end on a much more positive, fun experience. We walked last but not least over to this gas station. Here's what we found behind the gas station. Nice little art piece here. And luckily we took it on out on a happy note with some art instead of this eerie, creepy, crazy, scary Apache Death Cave place. Um, again, if you ever are in the area, check it out and or just look up the story of the Apache Death Cave. Pretty creepy place for sure. Very eerie. I am sure it is haunted. <laughs>